Welcome to this brief tutorial about using the video analysis software for analyzing various types of music related movements. When you open the software you get the option of uh, selecting either a file or a folder containing the, uh, the videos that you want to analyze. And in this case now I'm just going to open one file. So click here and I select a video file and it will display here um, the name of the file. Now the next step it we typically do when we want to analyze a file like this is to click on the settings button here and this will open a separate window. You can't really see all of the window here but it shows you the main content. In this window up here uh, on the left upper side it's possible to click and select the area that you want to analyze in the video. So I click and drag and then I select here you can see the black line here as the selected area and this is also then what is shown down here in the motion image. It is possible to adjust the threshold being used. Here it's down to zero and, and I typically prefer to have it up a little bit so it's it won't return every, everything in, in the image. So you can click and drag on this one here or you can also type in to change the values. Now this this program will either output uh, motion grams than what you see here and or these numbers you see up here which are various types of quantitative measures based on the video so here we see quantity of motion and the x position and y position of the movement etc there are more more numbers that are being extracted from the video down here you will see the motion gram which represents how much the body is moving and where in the image the body the movement is happening and here it's also possible to select whether you want to have a white on black or a black on white motion gram for the export now when you've done this and uh, changed these settings we close this window again and then we are ready to actually run the analysis itself um, and this we do over here um, we click on the export data button and then the data will be exported When the data is exported, you will see that this here is blinking and we will also see a progress bar going through the video file. Depen depending on the, the size and the duration of your video, this might take a long time. So that is the reason why we have included the possibility to uh, select a full folder of video files to run uh, analysis on all the files in the folder in, in what we could call a batch process of these things that makes it possible to uh, upload a, a full folder of files and then let the computer work on this for example during the night and then in the morning uh, you will get all the analysis coming out of this it is possible to stop the export and then it will write the files to disk and you will be able to go and look at these files and they are typically located in the same folder as where the video file was taken from so if i go and look here here i have the original file here we have the one of the motion grams from this file you can see it here the start of it at least uh, and you will also get a text file with all these numbers. This one you can typically open in a spreadsheet program to plot these these values uh, or use for example SPSS or MATLAB or any other type of, of uh, program that can handle uh, these type of text files.